native singer and songwriter, uh, Sharice Jones. She yes. began her musical career journey around the age of five. Now, it's been a long time coming, but she's finally ready for the world to meet Miss Jones. Well, welcome to Good Morning Thank Washington. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure, most certainly. So at, at the age of five, that's yes, just crazy. Can you remember that defining moment when you said, okay, music is going to be my thing? Well, actually, it, it started a little bit differently. So I actually was born with a umbilical cord wrapped around my neck, so I wasn't supposed to sing, let alone be able to talk well. Mm -hmm. And one day I was in the backseat of my mom's car driving, and my, she was driving, and I was just singing, and my mom said, oh, my God, you sound halfway decent. Halfway, halfway decent. decent. <laughs> Won't you do it? And then uh, I was around my, my late godfather, uh, Reverend Donald Vales, and so I recorded my first time live recording at Ebenezer Amy Church, is where I attend. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I learned then at 10, I said, oh my goodness, I'm all around these Dime McClurk and Yolanda Annals, all these people, and I just realized then, maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. Right, right. right. So, and then it, I didn't really realize it until after I graduated from grad school that I know I'm supposed to be an independent singer by myself. Right, but but mm -hmm. our but life plans don't always go the way that, that we hope that they do. Indeed. You went to Xavier during Hurricane uh, Katrina, yes, when Hurricane Katrina hit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how, how was that in changing the plan that you had already set forth? Well, at the time, I thought I was going to become a doctor, a pediatrician, mm -hmm. and uh, I realized then that that was the start of realizing that although you may see something ahead that mm -hmm things may work out purposely to do something else. So I transferred to Drexel University in Philadelphia and uh, I kept singing. I was at the gospel choir at Xavier, I went to the gospel choir in Drexel mm -hmm. and that was my first time going internationally uh, singing in Jamaica. So that gave me a different form of exposure and it allowed me to understand jazz and I used to go to the Rose Jazz Club and do other things of that nature. So I think all of it worked out well. It was hard at first, so it, it definitely, I, used to, I was crying right. every day. And, and hard getting through school. I know just uh, talking to uh, you uh, off camera, right. uh, education was always something uh, very important to you, to your family, right, right. Um, instilled at a very young age. Right, through my grandmother. So my grandmother passed two years ago at the age of 95, and she was a valedictorian of her high school uh, class in, at Highland Park in Prince George's County, and she wanted to become a nurse, but her father didn't have the $50 for her to start school. Mm -hmm. So it was imperative for my brother and I uh, to also just matriculate through school and do well. Uh, so, you know, with that being instilled, I tried to achieve all types of things and, and academic achievement was her biggest thing. So that's why I wanted to, to continue to do that. Right, for sure. always focus on both. You were the kid here who wrote the 25 uh, page paper before going to the jazz club to play. Ooh, who told you now, that? Who does that? Um, I'm trying to understand, how did you get that information? Oh, we, we have a good researchers here. Um, now, wait, who works for CIA? Here? Right. Um, okay, indeed. Yes, that is very true. I, I will write those 25. I was a geek, okay? I was part of Fasting with Pie. I, I was a geek. Undercover geek, but yeah, you know, okay, yeah, you just put me out there. Whatever works, right? Yes, indeed. Okay, so so now you're trying to transition from uh, this full-time job that you have to doing music all the time. Yeah, so pretty much I resigned from my directorship at 28 last year, um, and my album came out right at the same time, mm -hmm. and I wanted to be a full-time musician, and I was focused on that, and then I had the great opportunity to work with Department of Homeland Security. So right now I'm actually a special contractor mm -hmm. in the um, custody programs department, and through that I go and I train different people around the world, and uh, I just have that balance. I, I You know, right. having education is important. Important, right. and music is great, but you got to be able to support the music, especially as an independent artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've been working on this latest album now for five years. Yeah. yeah. Um, talk about uh, the song that you're going to do for us. Sure. You're my baby. You're my baby. And what was the inspiration? Well, it was I. You know. I like to be, I'm a tourist, so uh -huh. as a tourist, I'm a realist, and I always talk about things I've been through, and I thought there, um, I was in love at one point, and thought I was in love, but it was a best friend, so I covered it up, because I didn't want people to really know about it, but more or less, it's about finding a positive way to talk about the, the spouse that you have, so being in love with somebody that you are. Excellent. Well, you're going to take it away. I want to bring in my backup singers yes. here. Yes, please come on right. in. Come on, backup singers. Right. Come on, backup singers. Do we need to do a, do we yes, do a do walk walk rehearsal, girls. or are we, we good? We, good. we, we are good. good. Got y'all steps. We don't need any rehearsal. Uh, okay, y'all ready? Yeah, we're ready. All right, okay, hit him off, Deanna. <laughs>
like the love of September.